We are back here on Girl Talk. Again, we have Susan, we have Lynette, who almost told us a story, not on camera. We're like, don't waste a good story. <laughs> Let everybody enjoy. Very true. Okay. You know, when we talk about customers, it's taking the time to understand their needs. Young lady came in, her husband has cerebral palsy. Okay. Cannot get comfortable. She said, when he complains, he's already at a 15 level mm. with pain. Uh. I said, look, take one of the chairs home, let him try it for the weekend and see mm -hmm. if he can get in and out of it comfortably, whatever. Mm -hmm. She said he sat there and watched the both football games mm -hmm. <laughs> and never said a word about being uncomfortable. That's great. So, so interesting. It was, Which it, chair did he take? The wing. The wing. The wing, the wing. Oh, your dad's chair. Yeah. So it, it's one of those things that it takes a pressure point. You have no pressure points on your body, so okay. you relax. His issue is getting in and out of the chair because he has to use crutches, but she said he loved it. Well, so the, the it, funny the funny part for me with you, two clients, is the last time we were here, if you remember, <laughs> do you remember? I remember. We walked and we walked and there were clients here and they were just, you know, it, I just had not experienced mm -hmm. that where they were here for well, did you see all of the leathers they were looking they at? They were looking at leathers, mm -hmm. but then, they were also... And then Lynette would stop and say, hold on for a second, I've got to go. Exactly. <laughs> but they were also enjoying, uh, you were like, enjoy every single seat. So it really is an experience to come. And I sound like I'm, we're doing a commercial, but we're really not. I mean, this is actually the way it is here. Exactly. And it's pretty cool if you've never had a chance to come. It's definitely worth the stop. Plus, she has good candy, too. I know. Just, I, I know. You, I'm just I know. throwing that I mean, out start there. with the candy. Exactly. It's, it's almost Valentine's Day, so all the Valentine candy. I saw it. I was eating it the other day. I was just like, just... I have pretzels now, too. Oh, you do? Oh, well, for those people who want a savory snack. Exactly. Right. How did you find Susan, and how did you get involved in this industry? <laughs> well, I'm laughing because my best salesperson is my husband. Okay. And my husband is the one who introduced me to Lynette because he's in commercial real estate. Oh, and there you go. Everything clicked. <laughs> and so he was like, you, he was like, she's fantastic. She's the type of client that you want to work with. Um, she knows I her like, product. I, I like clients that I can talk to mm -hmm. that open up and we're able to, you know, to really come up with good concepts. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what, I mean, it's been three years maybe. Mm -hmm. I love it. I know. The hardest it's part like a of marriage. this job yeah, what is, is it? advertising. Is it? Oh, yeah. And she's a godsend. Oh, is she <laughs> so, really? Is oh, it? it's made a huge difference. Well, you difference. want people who are going to understand what you're doing. And right, hit and, but it also is building the trust. Okay. Because, you know, you're letting someone like myself, who, who you don't know, into your business. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at it as a partnership. It's like okay. I'm your marketing partner, and I'm trying to figure out what's working. So let's be honest. I mean, mm -hmm. at least between us, because mm -hmm. I don't take that information outside of the realm of our relationship. Well, that makes sense. And especially when I'm talking with um, salespeople or anything like that. What we say you know, stays with me. But then my job is to go out there and find tools that can bring people in that can understand what we're doing. Which is really interesting. You just did a really user-friendly explanation of what an advertising agency can mm -hmm. really do for someone. How do you find your products? Because I think more than anything, you don't have 45,612 <laughs> things, but the products that you have seem to be really high quality, um, long lasting. They do what you say they do. People, when people buy a piece of furniture, a lot of people will come in, I want that $500 recliner. Okay. Well, after they've bought three or four, after a couple, three or four years, yeah. they realize they could have had one great recliner. Mm -hmm. So they've, they've learned as we've gone along here, but it's something that people aren't getting quality Okay. in a lot of furniture anymore. We don't even know where it's coming from most okay. of the time. We know where this comes from. I've narrowed this down to three lines. And Is that what have you have, three lines? Three lines. Mm -hmm. I'm, keep, I'm simplifying my life. That's so good. <laughs> wait, I, wait, I've heard, this is embarrassing. I'm sitting here, they're like, are you holding notes? No, every time I go by a, you know, a little uh, <laughs> graph. <laughs> it's, it's really helpful. So stressless, you said, has been around for a long time. 50 years. Mm -hmm. Has it really? And what are they known for? I know they're, the Chiropractic Association endorses them, but is it just good seating? Comfort, Comfort. that last. I mean, these chairs mm -hmm. will last 20 to 25 years. Okay. I've seen some up to 40 years old. 
I do That's have... the best is when you tell me mm -hmm. that someone's called to say, I've had my recliner for 40 years. Um, can you help me change out the base or help me with the leather? Yes. And she'll get in there like a mechanic right. and like fix the chair. Susan, before I met Lynette, designer for 35 years, recliner and designer did not did ever I, go I in the same sentence. Oh, and I, I can right? just imagine. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, because, you know, you yeah, just, never have that in someone's house. But, but the stressless product, I mean, it's beautiful. Well, that, yeah. And the lines are gorgeous. The leather, I really love um, the feel of the leather, the different colors of the leather. Are the um, designs that you all do pr that Stressless does specifically pretty classic? More transitional, more okay. getting into a touch of contemporary. It just depends on the colors you put on it. And a lot of people say, oh, it's too modern. I'm like, one chair in your home will become part of your home. It's not good. It's not like a whole showroom. And I tell people for it as a designer too, that I would rather have a piece that looks new and fresh, mm -hmm. okay, in a home mm -hmm. that's very transitional or even uh, traditional, because I think you can pull that off. It just yes. looks new, exactly what we said, new and fresh. There's so much to talk about. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come right back. I wanna talk about the new... Um, EDI. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us, we'll be right back.